week, joined by three of our Swedish players, Caroline Hedwall, Maya Stark, and Lynn Grant. Starting off with questions from me before we open it up to the floor. And as usual, any questions in the chat, just put them in and I'll ask them as we go. Caroline, first off, first Solheim Cup since 2019. How do you feel to be back on the European team? Uh, well, it's just so much. I mean, it's such a great at atmosphere and we're having a lot of fun in the team as well. So uh, just a pleasure to be here. I'm just really looking forward to the golf starting on, on Friday. And how have you found the course when you've been out there playing it? I mean, it's a tough walk for everyone, uh, especially the caddies. But I mean, it's in great shape. It's a, a really good test, a, a good golf course. So yeah, I'm looking forward to it. And Lynn, a rookie on the team this year after a phenomenal first two years as a professional. Uh, how are you finding it this week being in Team Europe for the first time? Hey, obviously really excited. Um, like Caroline said, we, I think we have a great team. We're all trying to you know, become one un united group. So you know, I think uh, we have a lot of fun and I think the week is just going to be more and more fun for every day. And Maya, same question for you. How are you finding it as a rookie this week in Spain? It's a lot of fun. I feel like you're not any different than the other people on the team. Um, yeah, it's just fun. I don't know what it's usually like, but this has been great. And obviously you've all played pretty well in Spain before. Caroline having won here last year in our Open de España, not, not too far away from here. Um, how good is it to be in a country where you've done well previously? Well, just coming back to this area, obviously, it's, it brings back great memories. Uh, so uh, now I'm feeling really comfortable. And uh, like I said, I, I like the course a lot. And, and it's just great, great to be here. And Lynn also played consistently in Spain. I know you have lots of friends in the area. How many people are going to come out to watch this week? I think we're going to have a lot of Swedes, a lot of Spaniards, but there's going to be a lot of Scandinavians for sure. Um, we've already seen a lot of them out there cheering us on, so which is really exciting. And Maya, obviously your second LET win came in Spain, northern Spain, but still. Um, how much are you looking forward to this week and having your family here? Uh, I'm really looking forward to this week. Um, I haven't really thought about it that much. The fact that my family is going to be here, I don't know when they get here, but on Friday, for sure, they'll be here. Um, I haven't really thought any more about that. And I'll open up the floor to questions. There is a roving mic around, so please just put your hand up. Sarah? Hello? Okay. Can you hear me now? All right. Uh, just for Maya, obviously got to have that experience alongside Caroline at um, the International Crown earlier this year. Going into that experience and now going into this experience, what did you maybe learn um, at Harding Park that you're applying to this week about being a rookie in, in this scenario? Sorry, what was that last part? Uh, just like what about being a rookie in, the, in this kind of situation? I didn't really do anything different than I have. Um, before when I played match play, so I think, yeah, I just learned what I usually learn during a round of golf, I guess, um, and didn't really see it any, as anything different. And then uh, for Caroline, um, can you hear me? Okay. Yeah, I'll, um, I'll go closer. There we go. Um, for Caroline, I mean, just to see, there's so many Swedes on this team this year, just to see kind of the growth of Swedish golf. I mean, what does that mean to you to have this many Swedes on a Solheim Cup team and see how golf in Sweden is growing with the two players sitting next to you? Well, I mean, we've had a lot of, like you say, we've had a lot of Swedes playing on a Solheim Cup for Europe, and, and we have a lot of them coming up as well. We had three Swedes on the junior team now, so I mean, I think we're just going to keep coming, to be honest. <laughs> but I, obviously, it's, going back for me, I watched uh, a lot of Swedes play in Barsebeck uh, 2003, and, and that, it was always a dream after that to play Solheim. And I think uh, Lynn and Maya had a similar experience watching it on TV and just wanting to be there one day. So obviously, it helps a lot to have a lot of role models to look up to. And a couple of questions online from Beth Ann. Lynn and Maya, you have a great history together in foursomes. How much have you lobbied Suzanne to try and play together this week? <laughs> I think we've just um, been letting her know, you know, the, that we've been playing really well together. And 
Uh, we're comfortable with each other, especially coming into a situation like this where it's new. We're going to be nervous. It's going to, you know, have a lot of pressure on our shoulders. So we just said that we're comfortable together if she wanted to play us together. Okay. Um, what's a fun memory that you've had playing in a foursomes match together? Well, one br was brought up yesterday. That was pretty stupid. When we played the European Championships uh, in teams. And uh, we played in the final against England, and we were leading by a lot. And then we switched the order around because we, I think, we won a hole pretty. Like we had just hit our tee shot, and then we pretty much got the hole straight after that. And then I teed up after that as well. So uh, we just said during the rules meeting yesterday, remember to not do that again. That's probably the dumbest memory, but there's been a lot of good ones too. <laughs> Great. And um, what's the most nervous that you've ever felt on a first tee? And do you think it will be the new experience this week? Do you think you'll be the most nervous you've ever been? The most nervous I was was the junior Solheim in 2017. And I remember I just hit this really hard high five with my playing partner. So I couldn't feel my right hand either. And uh, we got the older players coming down from the clubhouse as well to watch our tee off. And I, I couldn't feel my hands uh, on that tee shot, but it was fine. It went well. <laughs> Lynn? Um, probably playing in like any of the team events I've been in. I think it, it makes a huge difference knowing that you're playing for so many more people than yourself. And you want to do good for not only yourself, but for the team and your captain. And, for the crowd is coming out and watch. So um, I think this will hit the top of my list when we're done after the week. And you've all played in the Ping Junior Solheim Cup before. Obviously the juniors, you're at one back to back yesterday for the first time ever. Just talk to me about that tournament and how much it meant to play in that. And obviously for Lynn and Maya, it was only six years ago to be here now and Caroline, obviously you've played in so many Solheim since then. Yeah, I mean, that's being a junior, I mean, that was a big goal for me to qualify for the Junior Solheim Cup when I was, I think I was 17, and, and just to get my European bag with my name on it, uh, that was huge. And um, I mean, it, it's basically the same experience, like the big big cup. So um, it was just great preparation for, for the big one. And, and I, I think everyone that's played the Junior Solheim, they, they loved it, like you, when you played the big one. Yeah, I think the, the best part for me playing in Des Moines 17 was probably coming out on the first day of like the real Solheim and watch and um, kind of see that it's not that far away and, you know, could potentially be here one day and, and that kind of sparked like some more motivation. I think that's really good with the whole event. I think it was very important for me to actually see that the older players mess up too because when you see it on TV you only see the good shots pretty much so it was nice to see some bad shot and some rage sometimes uh, it was yeah good to see that yeah like Lynn said we weren't too far away <laughs> uh, finally for me if there are no more questions from the floor um, just how excited are you for the next two days obviously you've got lots of obligations but how much fun are you having as a team this week what was the question? How much fun? Oh, how much fun? Oh. Yeah. Fun. Oh, a lot. <laughs> um, it's, been, it's been great. I think I, I mean, obviously coming in here, being a rookie and not really knowing everyone is, yeah, I was pretty nervous, but it's been great. Everyone's so nice and it's, uh, yeah, just very relaxed, I think. Well, like we said before, I think we just have a great atmosphere in the team room and everyone's just enjoying it. And I mean, it is a busy schedule, so uh, you just have it, having fun helps a lot, you know. So, um, no, we'll have a great week together, I'm sure. Yeah, I mean, even though we have a busy schedule, I think it's you get the feeling in the team room that um, it feels like everyone's a part of the team and doing their part and it's not an obligation to be here or an obligation to do all the things and um, at the end of the day we're just sitting around and having a good laugh and enjoying it. And there's a question at the back from Amy. 
Maya and Lynn as rookies, what's the best piece of advice that you received about being a part of this experience? I haven't gotten any advice. <laughs> well, I just heard that we won't have time to do much this week <laughs> that we want to do, so. Um, I think the best advice is probably just being like around the players who've been here before and kind of, you know, take it all in, see what they do, um, ask the questions you need, like just to be able to be in a team for a week and um, get closer to all the players that have more experience than yourself and maybe, you know, get close enough to actually ask the questions that you always wanted to ask. I think that's going to be a huge part of this week for me. What's one question that you've always wanted to ask? No, it's just like being a rookie. I mean, even though you try to do everything as good as you can, I think there's always going to be mistakes. It's always going to be, you know, and I think a lot of players make the same ones. And I think if you can kind of get your head around, you know, working it out before anything too stupid happens, I think that's, that's good. And then for Caroline, you've been on a couple of these teams over the years. Uh, Pedersen said that she thinks this is the strongest team. I'm curious your thoughts on how you feel like this team compares to others that you've been on. Can you repeat? I, I didn't hear the last part. <laughs> How do you feel like this team compares to the others that you've been on throughout the years? Well, it's just, uh, I feel like it's just a super strong team. Everyone, uh, I mean, we've had so many Europeans doing so great this season. I mean, Maya Lynn, uh, Celine, and, and Charlie. And uh, it just seems like a lot of, of uh, the European players are in, are in form. And um, I think it's going to be a great match. Perfect. Thank you. Any more questions? And that's good. Thank you for joining me and good luck this week. Thank you. Thanks.